Hello, this is Mr. Man. Mr. Man has had a really bad flea infection. We've just been bringing him in at night, throwing him out in the morning, finally decided to get down to business. He's got flea assassin. He's had advantage. He's, you know, been running the gamut for the last few weeks while I've had him of different kinds of things. And finally, uh, it's been, what, three weeks? inside nights and I'm not so afraid of him because I'm not very I'm elderly I'm not very you know able to hold on to cats like I used to my own cats just you know abuse me because you know they can get away and I was kind of afraid but he took to a bath very nicely I had to hold on to him and scruff him tightly and um put him in wait a minute yes this tub which I got from the SPCA at, a, at one of their yard sales for a dollar. And it, it has lasted me years for all kinds of baths from, you know, tent camping to inside. And um, we did use uh, some different products on his ears, which I think, I don't know, ear therapy because he either has mites, which I hope not because they're contagious or he has some kind of infection. And then I did use a Zymox. I used both the shampoo today and the conditioner i didn't put much of the conditioner because he's a uh, you know aggressively taking care of himself but giving the bath really showed me he had a lot of um a lot of uh places where he had infestations like on his tail was awful and we just worked on that and it's not like he's perfect yet but he's getting to be pretty good looking and this here come here sweetheart show him your face this here on his face, this was an infection of, um, honey, oh, I should see this little dirt part here. This dirt part was an infection, which is getting better, but he's got a lot more orange than I thought he did. He's, um, beige and orange, and he's pretty, uh, he's thin and lean, but we're trying to fatten him up a little bit. He's gotten some tuna, he's, uh, been dewormed with um, Panicure and also with Pyrantal. The Pyrantal was earlier. And that's when I realized maybe I need the um, the overall Panicure because out here we do have hookworms. I've had two cats brought in that were wild not after I used Safeguard or my, my vet used it. And then he showed, they, they told me, you know, what the average dose would be. And so I used it on my own cats and I've used it now on him. And he appears to be getting better because all of a sudden he has all this energy and it's running away. Do you want to say hello, little man? Little man. But he still has some bugs. And I mean, fleas that are hanger oners. You know, won't let go of his uh, anus, anus and, you know, stuff like that. And I can't seem to get him off. And he's been really, really nice and polite. Has not tried to bite me. Has not scratched me. He's pretty nice cat. The cats I'm surprisingly getting out here now coming out of the woods which is like probably an acre more, a lot more than that. A lot of woods behind me are not, uh, are domesticated and some of them have been out there longer than others. I thought he was kind of wild. Sweetheart, you want to look up and talk to people? You just say something nice. Uh, uh, say whoa. Who did this? This is not a smart thing to do. Was it? Was it? Mm -mm. He just wants to clean up now. There goes the conditioner. He's going to eat now. I put the conditioner down his back because his coat was not shiny and I'm trying to bring back the luster so he doesn't look so sickly all the time. And Maybe that he'll be more attractive and we could get him someplace. I think we still need to run some more. Um, he needs to be test for dewormers. You know, with just do I think he's okay though, but um, I worried about UTI for a while, but I just don't think he's used to using a box. And plus, the problems he's had he's having with bugs could also be affecting his ability to go to the bathroom. So we're gonna keep on that, and I'm hoping that the flea assassin, the uh, the one that's like the cap star, is going to help him today. He's had it a couple of times before; it didn't get rid of it. So now we've got him clean. And now I know I can bathe him. I might try a flea bath. The Zymox is good though because it's uh, it's better. You know, it's just not a flea bath. It's uh, it has a um, enzyme 
that's um, going to help, you know, if he's got itchy skin, which he does, and uh, if he's had an infection for a while. So this, he's quite healthy because some cats who are not healthy won't be grooming themselves like this. And he, and he's actually started to do it more since he started to get cleaner. So we're looking at, you know, not a whole lot of bugs running around there, but they are in the spots where they have a tendency to, like the end of the tail, have a tendency to uh, dig into. Okay, I'm not going to talk to the camera, be nice, or anything else. Well, I've been cleaning like a crazy lady lately, so I probably need another nap today. Okay, say goodbye. No goodbye. Well, we're saying goodbye, and we're hoping this guy finds his home soon. Say, I'm a little man. I still have my balls. I want to go out tonight and meet a girlfriend. I don't think so.